You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have one of my fan favorites. I have Laverne Govern here. Hey, Laverne, how are you? Good oh, to see you. Good. If, if you're here, it must be something good. Yeah. Like it always is. Yeah. And it is the Healathon. It is the Healathon it, against domestic violence. So we're talking June 9th. June 9th. Okay, it's not Father's Day, it's the week nope. before Father's Day. It's the Day. week before Father's Day. Good we timing. always try to have it about the second week in June so that folks aren't conflicted on, you know, the busy summer dates, which tends right. to get oh, it's starting already. pretty busy. Yeah, yeah. It sure yeah. is. It's starting. So June 9th, it's yeah. early. It's yeah. 830 in the morning for yes. registration. Yes. If you haven't registered online prior, we urge you to show up at 830 so that you can get registered and get settled and get ready to walk at about 915. Okay. And it's DW Fields Park. DW Fields right Park. The, main, the entrance right near the Fuller Craft. Correct. 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 That, that just across the pond. Area. Yep. Just yep. across the pond from Fuller Craft Museum. Just before you hit DW Field Park Golf Course. Right. Right at the lights. If you're going towards Main Street, it's the left at the lights on Oak Street. Okay. And if you're going towards Pearl Street, it's the right. 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 Just before you you meet Fuller Craft Museum. Now tell it, you give us the online, so you rather have people register online ahead of time so yes. you have a clue as to how many people are coming. Correct, and okay. you know, a, a lot of you have done that, but we want much more of you to do so. So okay. visit lovelifenow.org um, slash healathon, or just Love Life Now, you can find it on the homepage, right. and register online so that way we know you're coming, and visit us on Facebook, on the event page as well, to let us know you're coming. That's when I saw it. Yeah, Before you even right called me and said, let's... Let's do another interview. Exactly. So that's a very interesting event yeah. because people are uh, men and women. And women. <laughs> are in heels. Yes. Doing a walkathon. And, and the reason behind that is walk a mile in my shoes. Correct. As a survivor of domestic violence, we want folks to sort of get sort of the feeling of, you know, that pain that you feel when you walk in heels for more than, you know, 10 steps because we know that heels are not super comfortable. Right. Um, but that pain that you feel is nothing compared to what victims and survivors are facing when they get, go into a shelter, which the walk and, and all of our initiatives benefit, tend to benefit a shelter. This year it's Dove out of Quincy, which okay. also, you know, many people, if they're in Brockton, they may know of somebody in Quincy that might have an issue and need to get in, in contact with Dove. But right here in Brockton, we also do have two domestic violence agencies that service folks within this area. That's Family and Community Resources as well as Health Imperatives, which runs Penelope's Place Shelter. Right. So we always try to make folks aware of that, that, you know, there's help right in this area as well. So the walk benefits the shelter, but it also spreads awareness. I mean, last year... Mark, thank you for walking with us last year. It meant a lot. You remember that feeling of walking on the street and having people honk yeah. as we walked with the awareness signs, no more domestic violence, and people honking and reacting to that. And that's what we want. We want folks to understand that you are not alone. Even if you're driving by, you may right. be a survivor, you may be a victim, you may know someone that's affected by this issue. Right. And so creating awareness in that sense is huge to us. So we urge people to come out. It's a fun fill family day. We have hot dogs by Kayam Foods. We have um, ice cream by Bounce on Us Party Rental right out of here from Brockton. Uh, we have, you know, just Love Life Now apparel on sale that you the can get. The oh, raffles. Yeah. Which we can't promote, so we won't talk about We the won't, we won't, but, but there, there's a couple of really good ones that I wish I could compete for because okay. I really want to win it. But okay. yeah, it's a great day and it's forecasting to be a really great morning. So Yeah, the weather forecast looks good. It's, yeah. And it's right, literally right up Oak Street. Yes. We go up Oak Street over to near with Signature Healthcare. Signature Healthcare. We cross right there and then we turn back. We stop right there at the halfway mark and take a great photo and everybody converses and meets everyone as a group. And then we head back down to, to DW Field Park. But it's a fun filled morning. We'll have games for the kiddos. We'll have um, treats for the kiddos. So just come on out and have a great time. Raise awareness and be more in the know about how you can be part of the solution in ending this issue. Now, there's a special guest that's dressed up in a costume. Who, who might that be? Yeah, so returning is Black Panther. Okay, okay. <laughs> Black Panther is returning, walking in purple heels. Purple, okay. There purple heels. Okay. This is a guy's guy who yep. puts on this suit mm -hmm. and really gets into the spirit of awareness and walks that mile in heels. Wedge heels, but heels all the same. Okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll give them that. <laughs> and so, we also like to point out that heels are not mandatory. Right. We know folks have issues with their feet. Sneakers are welcomed. Anything that is comfortable to you. 
the heels are for those uh, pro-seasoned people that uh, have been doing this for quite some time and are willing to take the pain. And I'm sure if somebody couldn't actually walk, yeah. if they were in a wheelchair or something, Absolutely. they could participate. We wouldn't be excluded from that. Absolutely. To, All to are welcome. Awareness. Is it getting any better or is it getting worse? Listen, we, we I mean, the, the, the reason why we do this work is because we're able to sort of um, target our communities, right? If we're able to reach one person within our community, it's gotten better, mm -hmm. right? Okay. One person that is aware the, of, of what the signs are, where the help is, so that if they're faced with the situation, they can be able to find and seek help. That's what we do. And so, you know, we can't tackle everyone. Right. Uh, and quote unquote, <laughs> but right. we will try to reach as many people as we can within our communities and that's the hope that Love Life Now seeks to do. With everything going on yep. in this country, mm -hmm. the whole immigration debate, the yeah. whole thing, that must make it harder because people are still scared yeah. to report domestic abuse. It makes it extremely hard, but again, if we are able to get the message out within our immediate communities and beyond, then we're able to get people in the know that if you are an immigrant, the police are not going to arrest you if you report abuse. That is so pertinent for people to understand because a lot of the times abusers prey upon the fears mm -hmm. of others and gain that power and control by using those things over their heads and, not, and that victims not understanding that that doesn't affect them. So if you, if you are in an abusive situation and you are an immigrant, you're not legal here, please report, report, report. The police will not arrest you if you, if anything, the Violence Against Women Act will protect you. Right. Okay. Has that been reauthorized? It has been reauthorized. Okay. Thank, Thank God. God it was a very big deal for a while. It's the politics are crazy. Lately. It's insane. It's insane. But again, we're, we're, we're here to just get the word out as much as possible and get people in the know. So thank you for having a platform for oh, us to be able to do that. We're always glad to. And a phone number for people to call if they have a crisis it, or if they know somebody that yeah. has a crisis, what's the best number? Absolutely. So the nationwide domestic violence hotline, even if you're not in Brockton, anywhere is 1-800-799-SAFE. 1-800-799-SAFE. Here locally in Brockton and beyond, you can call, uh, as I mentioned, Family Community Resources. You can also call Health Imperatives, which runs the shelter here in Brockton. You can also call Dove, who the, the walk is benefiting this year. Um, and you can also call me. If you are in this area and you need someone to talk to and to find out what, where is the best direction for help, call me. Call us at Love Life Now, 617-803-803. 8357. Again, 617-803-8357. Or visit our website, www.lovelifenow.org. Good. I just wanted to get that in before the end. Yeah. I got the one-minute cue. <laughs> so um, just to review and recap, yep. um, Sunday, July 9th. Yep. June. June. Don't I'm take sorry. It a you're right. Ahead. You're right. I'm ahead. <laughs> I'm already ahead of myself. Sorry. June. Erase that. Um, DW Field Park, yep. get there at 8.30 if you're not pre-registered. We gave you the number before, and yes. this will be up on Facebook, and we'll share it and, and everything. But yes. uh, look, keep doing what you're doing. You we're do excited. great work, and we're, we're always glad to be a part of it. We appreciate you, Mark, big okay? time. Thank you. Thank Good you for having you. us. Good to see you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.